Hi, this is Gary with MacMouse Now. On today's episode, let's look at how Time Machine works and compare it to cloning. Time Machine is the backup software that's part of OS X. You should be using it to back up all the files on your hard drive. An alternative that some people use are clones, and you can use cloning software to create a complete clone of your hard drive. Let's look at how Time Machine works and compare it to cloning. So here are some files that may be on your computer. You can see I got a bunch of different things here at the bottom of the screen, some text files, images, music, all sorts of things. Now on your drive you have one copy of each one. With Time Machine, when you make your first backup, we'll call that now, it copies one of these files to the drive. So you've got a backup of your entire drive. Now the next time it goes to backup, an hour later, it is going to check every one of those files and see which one's been updated. Now in this case as an example we've got this one document here has been updated and a image right here has been updated. So it has the current update right there and it has the one from an hour ago, the original update. So notice that it doesn't bother to make new copies of the files that have remained the same but it does make new copies of the ones that have changed. So not only do you have a copy of everything on there, but you have a copy, say, of this document right here, the current one, and you have the old one as well. Now, if we look what happens over a longer period of time, we can see here that Time Machine has a few hourly backups from today, but then it also has one sort from yesterday, from two days ago, and all the way back to the original one, which may be several days old. And you can see that file.txt has changed just recently, and it has that copy and the old original copy. Paper.docs changing all the time. So it has a copy with every backup it's got and various other states for these other things. Some of these files like this image here and this zip file here have never changed since the original and it's never bothered to make a backup. And one of the important things to note with Time Machine is of course it's eventually going to run out of space. I mean look at all of these copies of Paper.doc. So if you move forward in time here you can see Time Machine cleans itself up and says I don't need all the really old files. I just want to save as many recent versions of each one as I can. So it has many recent versions of paper.doc, but it stopped uh, keeping them after two days old. File.txt, it threw away the original and it has the newer one, and the same with the rest of these. So you can't rely on Time Machine to actually keep an archive of what you've got going on. Basically it's going to have one copy, your most recent copy of every file on your drive, and it's going to have maybe several versions going back in time depending on how often you update it, how big the file is, how much space is on your Time Machine drive. Now cloning is a very different thing. You have to get a piece of software. One is called SuperDuper, and another one that you may find is called Carbon Copy Cloner. And you can get trial versions of both of these. And they'll create a complete clone of your hard drive. Let's see what that looks like. So with a clone, you're going to have exactly one copy of every file on the clone. Basically, right after you finish making a clone, it should look exactly like your hard drive. So if you look at it in a time format, you can see that it has one copy of every file. Now, some of them may be very recent, like this one is a new one from the current clone, and this is a new one from the current clone. But other ones are older. The idea is it still does it incrementally. You do a clone and it creates one copy of every file. Then you do an update on that clone and it sees that these two files need to be updating. It deletes the old one and replaces it with a new one. So you have an up-to-date clone of your drive. If you look over time, you may find that some of those files are very old and some of them are new. It's still going to be the most recent copy of every file. So it's an exact copy of your hard drive. It's just that it's important to note that there are no older copies, say, of paper.doc here, only the most recent one. So here are some of the advantages of cloning. First is that it uses less drive space. It only takes one terabyte to back up a one terabyte drive because there's one copy of every file. Uh, clones are often bootable, meaning since it's an exact copy, if you've done it correctly and made a bootable clone, then you can actually replace your failed hard drive with the cloned drive and get right back into work. Now of course that doesn't work very well if you've actually updated some of your files since the last time you made the clone, which is very likely because how often can you make a clone? Maybe once a day. Another is more control. With clones you can say I want to back up this and not that. I want to back up at certain times. So you have a ton of control of what gets backed up and when. 
Now, Time Machine, one of the big advantages is it's automatic. You start Time Machine working and it's going to make small incremental backups every hour and you don't have to worry about it. It's going to keep doing it. And if you do have a hard drive failure or something goes wrong, chances are you have a very recent copy of all your files because Time Machine has been working in the background to make copies. Now there is, of course, you have this great history. So you're not only protected against a complete hard drive failure, but say if you screw up, accidentally delete a file or modify a file and realize, boy, I really wish I could go back to how this file was yesterday or three hours ago, you can do that with Time Machine. Another huge advantage of Time Machine is it works not only with the Finder for files, but it works in other programs like iPhoto and Mail. You can actually run Time Machine while, say, in iPhoto and look at previous versions of photos or mail messages. It even works with address books to look at previous versions of contacts. And of course, big advantage of Time Machine is it's built into OS X. It's just there and you can start using it as soon as you get an external hard drive or a time capsule. So what do I recommend? For most Mac users, I recommend using Time Machine. Get an external hard drive, a USB drive that's at least twice the size of your internal drive, and simply turn Time Machine on. Use that entire drive as your Time Machine drive and let Time Machine handle your backups. Now clones are useful for some things. One of the things I use clones for is to keep an off-site backup. So every once in a while I update a clone on an external drive and I store it in a location away from my computer. So that way my only backup isn't sitting there right next to my computer where both could get damaged say by water or fire. So there's a look at the difference between using Time Machine and making a backup clone. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMos Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.